All right, this week I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I thought I'd give you a, kind of a video tour of the BitX 17 that I've been working on. Um, here it is. It's Right now it's all on one board. I guess a little bit larger than a book. And I'll show you the different stages. The first thing I built was the VXO. It started out as a VFO. But I, I guess I got spoiled by Doug DeMoor's VXO circuits and decided to go with a, a VXO. It's a lot easier to get stable. I had crystals for around 23.1 megahertz. And this works well with an IF filter of 5 megahertz to get you to around 18.1 megahertz for the 17 meter band. So here it is. It's a, a VFO circuit, VXO circuit, that's quite a bit different from that which was in the original design, but it's working out well for me and I really like it. The second stage that I built was the, uh, the mic amplifier, and that's down here. After that, we have here the, uh, the carrier oscillator that's used both on transmit and receive. And it's got a little 5 megahertz crystal right here, the oscillator and a buffer amplifier. And I can move the frequency of the 5 megahertz crystal a little bit. I have to actually slide it up a bit to get it in the right position uh, for uh, sideband operations. The next stage I built is this one here. This is the product detector and balanced modulator. Just uses two little diodes and a trifiller wound toroid, very similar to the standard um, circuit that Doug DeMaw uses in many of his rigs. It's got a little 6 dB pad off the end, and from there you get to the first of three bidirectional stages in the BitX design. And this is the really cool part of the design because this is one amplifier stage but the top part is the receive amplifier the bottom part is the transmit amplifier and you can see there's diodes here these diodes switch power to either the receive or the transmit stage and they also switch in load resistors 200 ohm load resistors for the to two different parts of the stage so this is called half a bidirectional, half a bidirectional amplifier stage. And you can kind of, as we go through, see which stage I'm talking about because I've color-coded the power. Red, the red line, powers receive. The green line powers transmit. And so you can see how this makes um, transmit and receive switching very easy. From this first stage, now we get to the 5 megahertz IF uh, crystal amplifier and uh, four crystals. I bought a batch of 20 from, from I think from Mauser Digikey. And I got a bag of 20 and I just went through and looked and found four that were very close in frequency. I have it set up in what's known as a cone topology. That means I have the same value of capacitor to ground and at the ends. In my case I'm using 40 picofarads, which gives me a fairly broad IF, I've still got a quite a bit of ripple in it, so I have to play with the, um, the uh, impedance values at the end to try to get the ripple out, but so far it sounds really good. From the crystal filter we go to another stage, almost identical to this one. Again, bidirectional, again, red for receive, green for transmit. From there, we go to the VFO uh, mixer where we have 23 megahertz energy coming in and uh, mixing with either the 5 megahertz signal from the transmitter or the 18 megahertz signal when it's on receive. We have another stage of amplification here and um, from this amplifier stage we go to a bandpass filter which is at 18 megahertz and then over here I'm going to build the um, the RF amplifier and low pass filter. Down here we have uh, audio stages and uh, the original design out of uh, Farhan's original design had an LM386 uh, chip as the um, final audio amplifier. 
I wanted to make this all discrete components so I've been fooling around with some success not a lot <laughs> with a different audio amplifiers I kept the first audio amplifier stage that Farhan had in mind but then I added a um, Darlington pair audio amplifier that gives I, I don't know whether it's doing as well as the um, LM386 would do I haven't really measured the uh, the gain on it but um, it's uh, it's working and I can hear the band noise and let me see if I have tune if I can hear any signals some digital stuff there I'm cheating a little bit because I have a amplified speaker I'm going to change the crystal There's somebody. I think it sounds pretty good. Anyway, I've been having a lot of fun with this thing. I really like this rig. And I think it's uh, it's a wonderful design. I like the uh, the simplicity behind it. The uh, the bidirectional circuitry really makes uh, transmit to receive switch over very very easy, and uh, it's just conceptually uh, a really really nice design. So uh, three cheers to to Farhan and all the folks who've been working on the design. There's an excellent group on uh, on Yahoo Groups, BitX20 at yahoogroups.com. And um, they're very, very supportive. So when you start building a BidX, you're uh, becoming part of a, a really big um, worldwide kind of um, grouping, a brotherhood of, uh, of BidX builders. So uh, if you guys are looking for something to build this winter, take a, take a close look at the BidX project. Thanks. <laughs> 